Hi, welcome to The Medical Method. I'm Tom. I'm a junior doctor and entrepreneur in Melbourne. Welcome to my video on time management. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I manage my time using something called focus sharing. Um, it's allowed me to start multiple companies during my medical degree and as I've worked as a junior doctor, um, you know, some now tutoring as many as 30% of all the pre-medical students in Australia, others that I'm not quite ready to tell you guys about, um, all while whilst you know, doing really well as a junior doctor, getting great references and managing to graduate with honours um, in a challenging medical degree at the University of Melbourne. That's a mouthful. Stay tuned for how to implement focus sharing in your working life and um, towards the end of the video I'll talk about sort of how to break up the day and give you an example of how I do that. So stay tuned. So why don't I just start by telling you a little bit about focus sharing. Focus sharing is literally the opposite of everything you read about time management. They'll tell you that you need to organize your day, structure tasks, have singular focus on what you're doing at any given time to get the maximum kind of productivity um, with the amount of focus you have. If you're a medical person, you're working as a doctor, it's actually not feasible to break up your time. You know, if you're at the university or at, at ho um, the hospital for most of the day, it's actually not really possible to break up the, the remaining time of the day and actually achieve what you might want to achieve. Um, Focus sharing to me means that um, I'm actually always doing multiple tasks. So as an example, um, our companies use Slack, uh, which is sort of like a messenger service. Um, I'll, I'll put a little uh, image of it up here. Um, but basically you can message people and answer questions and sort of um, respond to things that normally um, sort of old companies would use email for. So I am always on Slack and always on my email um, throughout the day. And that's the type of task that I would include in focus, the focus sharing bucket. So that's kind of step one. Focus, share your low focus tasks. Take the things that don't require a lot of cognitive load and do them all at once all the time. So step two is about structuring your day. I told you at the start of the video that you know, some of these kind of boring time management videos talk you about how to schedule your day. Um, I would just suggest it's really important if you do have high focus tasks, so really challenging problems to solve that might be irreversible or just very important things to solve. An example might be your hypothesis in your research or, you know, what's your go-to-market strategy um, for a given product, you know, who are you targeting, what's going to be that competitive advantage you're going to do. Um, all these kind of really high energy things, put them at the start of your day and make dedicated time for those tasks. So high focus tasks need focus and switch off all of your focus sharing um, stuff whilst you're doing those tasks. So an example that like recently, so I would get up for a couple of hours and just singularly fo focus on my work for my new startup, which I'll talk to you guys about soon, um, and solve all of the most challenging problems um, in that morning slot go off to work and then do focus sharing for the rest of the day. And I'm, st and I'm still, by doing that, answering the hardest problems in free time and then doing all the menial tasks in the remaining time. Um, and step three, which is really important for your sanity, is just to take really clear a lot of time off from all of it. So for me, that's spending time in the evenings um, with my wife, watching, watching stuff on TV, um, you know, cooking, listening to audiobooks, meditating, all of these things are really important, but I really try to designate and switch off notifications for everything. So I might push the limits on my focus sharing. You know, I might be responding to Slack messages at 8, 9 p.m. But if I start watching a movie, then from 8.30 till the end of the day, I'm off. So I guess in summary, um, I'll share with you here just a little sort of screenshot of how I might break up my day. But the reason focus sharing works so well is that you will double or triple the amount of um, impact you can have in that low focus period. Um, so if you're at university and you're only doing one thing, I'm doing three times as many things as you just because I'm focus sharing on multiple tasks at the same time. Don't be super fixated on one task or another thing. So I hope this is useful. Start focus sharing in your own life. Like and share and subscribe, all those good things. Um, and I hope you're finding these videos useful. I would try to keep making them weekly. Um, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks, bye.